Good morning, good afternoon, good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Barum Engines. So, as you can see, I'm still in my house, sounding a little bit chesty today. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to work again. I'm feeling like I've been imprisoned here. I seem to have developed a little bit of a, um, a chest infection. Been on the phone to Paul and the boys today, back at work, they're doing a wonderful job. I'm gonna do my absolute utmost to um, get some antibiotics today and um, hopefully get back to work tomorrow. It's December, I've had a week off already. I had Friday off, I've got today off, I've got next week off because of Christmas. Um, so if I'm lucky, I'm gonna be doing a week of December this year. Um, absolutely ridiculous, I know. All I can do is just sort of sit here, rest. My wife's gone out with the children. Um, I'm watching my favorite channel here, DDE. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I've been in touch with Paul today and he has been cracking right on with that Renault V6. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you with Paul in a moment. He's done some footage, bless him. Um, now what he's been doing today, really interesting stuff. He has been plastic aging the bearing clearance for the Renault V6. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said to you before, the bottom bearings that go into the block um, we've only got one size of. We've only got one size, which is yellow, of the rod bearings. Um, so Paul's going to check all that. But he is going to be plastic gauging and making sure we get the correct bearing clearance on the mains with the top bearings because we've got four colours to choose from there. So without further ado, guys, going to leave you with Paul and um, he'll show you how it's done. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Monday morning, lovely Monday morning, feeling fresh, fresh as a daisy. A great night's sleep last night. Lee is not here today, so it's a little bit different. So I'm sort of uh, doing some bits and Isaac's doing some bits in the front of the camera as well. So this morning, uh, I've got the Renault Clio V6 to sort out. So I've got to check the bearing clearances and that. Um, and Isaac is working on the engines um, that he's got on at the moment, so he's going to film a few clips and uh, hopefully we're going to make an half decent video. This afternoon I'm hoping to get onto the MG Rover V8, um, so that at the moment that's more just sort of cleaning, um, bee blasting and stuff, so the next thing to do probably to bee blast the rods, clean them up and then we'll check the rod housings to make sure they're, they're around. Um, and then it's just a case of working through the rest of the engine, cleaning the thing, uh, bee blasting anything we can bee blast, um, make it look nice, and then sort of playing a waiting game with the parts really. Right, so Monday morning, first job today is to dummy build um, this Clio V6 engine. So what I mean dummy build, um, we're gonna put the crank in um, and measure the bearing clearances. This block has been cleaned, or has had its first clean, um, but it's, this, is, this is not going to be the final assembly. We need to hone the bores out and face the, um, the block surfaces. So um, for a dummy build, this is clean enough. So on the desk here, we have a array of different bearing sizes, or main bearing sizes. Um, each colour represents a different thickness. Now, what that thickness is, I don't know. Um, these are meant to be new old stock bearings from the factory. So someone's obviously bought, all the customers bought these and then given to us to... Uh, sort of use uh, in the assembly. It's going to be a bit of trial and error of these bearings, I think. Um, so potentially, I think we might start with the yellow ones and see what sort of bearing clearance we are. What the bearing clearance is, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. However, being an Annie block, um, I just imagine we'll probably have to run quite a small clearance on the mains. I would reckon, sorry, 1,000, 1,000 and a half, because being an Annie block, when they heat up, they grow quite a lot. So I've got four set of bearings in the block. Um, over here, you've got this sort of... Um, you could, can't really call it crank ladder, but the crank ladder is sort of the intermediate part of the block that bolts on. So we'll stick some of these, yeah, we'll start with the yellow ones over here, um, and then we will plastic gauge the main bearing journals and see what we've got. Also got the uh, big end bearings over here as well, um, and the con rods, which we will probably change the bolts uh, and the nuts as well, because we've got some new bolts and nuts. But we're waiting for some scales to turn up, some more proper singing or dancing scales, so we can, um, we can weigh these, so we can balance them all to exactly the same weight. So um, hopefully it's out today, we can stick it in the video as well. New pistons over here, which I think Lee's probably shown you already. Fortunately, we have a broken ring, which I believe Lee's shown already as well. So we need a replacement ring for that. So the bearings uh, are in this part of the block. I'm just gonna get the bolts ready and then we'll plonk it on, see what clearances we've got. Right, so cranks in the block, um, plastic edges here. So I've already sort of split some plastic edge up. Try and pick it up there. We'll stick this on the bearing, like that. Yeah. 
obviously do all bearings at the same time. And do like that. That one's sorted. And there's the back one. Right, so that's the main cradle bolted down. Uh, the torque procedure is a little bit um, time consuming, so you have to bolt uh, these main 11 11 nuts, uh, sorry, bolts down to 30 newton meters. Then these M8s go to 10 newton meters, and these outer 6 mil ones go to 10 newton meters as well. Um, then you've got to slacken the M11 and M8 bolts off, and then tighten these up to 30 newton meters plus 180 degrees, and then these um, M8. Uh, bolts um, 10 newton meters plus 180 degrees and then these um, outer bolts you've got to double check are at 10 newton meters so it's a bit time consuming uh, so we'll whip this off now and then we'll check the clearances and see what we've got right so i've done the plastic gauge and um, i've got the cradle back off and now we can measure the clearances so i've already done the yellow um, bearings actually the yellow tag bearings uh, they came out at 1.5 thou across the whole lot so i'm happy that we've got a consistent clearance uh, i just tried the red tag ones um, and I think there's about 1.2 thou. So the 1.5 there, and you put the one there. It's looking like maybe 1.2 thou, just over one. It's not quite one thou there, I think. They're all looking, I wonder about 1.2 thou. So I think we're going to figure out now what sort of clearance we want to run. I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to clean the plastic gauge off these bearings. I'm going to whack the um, yellow tag bearings back in and order them up and see how well the crank spins. 1.5 hour clearance on these is probably what I'd want to run. Um, but we'll see what it spins like first. Right, so that's the cradle bolt down with the yellow tag bearings in. Um, no plastic gauge and I've spun the crank by hand. And it spins quite nice actually. Uh, check the end float, which is 7 thou clearance, which is, um, I would have said, pretty spot on for an alley block. It tends to run a bit more end float alley blocks, I've always found, because uh, you've got the alpha expansion, because obviously the whole thing expands a lot more than, say, a, a cast, you know, cast iron or block. I think what I will do is check the clearances of the black tag bearings, just to make sure. I think, personally, with these, 1.5 thou is probably what we want to run, but I will double check the lead. Bearing clearances... <sighs> The manufacturers, we can't find any manufa manufacturer specs to put clearances, but generally what you find in clearances is, is sort of does relate to sort of what grade oil you use. So if you run a thinner clearance, you tend to, you tend to run a thinner grade oil. So um, I need to double check what oil grade we were using this, but I think it's probably 530 or something. So if it's 530 of a thousand, one and a half thousand clearance, I've probably said we're about on the money, but we're, uh, we'll see what the black ones are like and then we'll go from there. Right, so I bolted down the uh, crank cradle again for the 75th time. Um, <laughs> so we've got the black tag bearings in there. So I'll check the clearances these again. And be honest with you, these are coming out. That one's probably, that one's about 1.5 thou. But the rest of these are probably somewhere between, to me that's slightly bigger, uh, slightly smaller. That's probably more like 1.3 maybe. And that one's probably... They'll be the same, we'll assume, maybe slightly 1.3, 1.4. And the back one here, somewhere between 1.5 and, can you see that, 1.5 and 1 thou. So, not that much different than the yellow ones. I think these are slightly smaller clearance. So, I'll talk to Lee, but I think we'll probably end up running the yellow tag uh, bearings, which had 1.5 thou on all four main journals. So, I think that is what I want to go for. The crank spun quite nicely, that. Quick update on the MG V8, uh, MG Rover V8 anyway. Uh, the heads are done, so we've skimmed the heads, sewed the blast into the head, lapped the valves in, and obviously uh, faced the valves as well. So they all seal lovely. Uh, the block over here, I've knocked the core plugs out of it. So this block needs to be bored for the new pistons, and it needs a good, a proper clean uh, and a lick of paint. And we'll have to skim the maintenance services as well for the heads on this one. The Cosy over here, I haven't done too much more of that. We've um, the bants the crank, the head has been skimmed and the valve seats are recut. So I just need to lap these in and vacuum them uh, and make sure um, uh, they seal properly. And um, then we can reassemble the head. 
So we've got this nice, enormous crank down there, which is actually uh, off one of my engines. It's an Alfa Romeo 2.6 um, straight six engine. It's the one that we had in the video probably uh, a few months ago. So I'm going to get John to check these channels, but I'm pretty sure these mains need to grind. Um, the big ends look right, but I'll get John to measure the big ends as well. So um, that's going to be an interesting one. It's a massive crank, pretty heavy as well. Well, thank you very much, Paul. Really, really appreciate that. Really interesting stuff. As you can see, more than likely, we're going to go for the yellows there. We've got about a thou and a half of, of running clearance on the bearings, which is for that size crank journal and the ore grade we've got. Uh, me and Paul have decided to go for that. So absolutely wonderful. Um, everything else measures up. So hopefully at the very beginning of the, of the new year, we can... Uh, get that one put back together. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. As I say, hopefully, fingers crossed for Wednesday's video, I'm gonna be back and I can stop climbing these walls. But thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you would and um, have a great evening. Cheers guys.